Hello everyone, please welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my Lincoln Navigator. It's a year model 2015 and I'm going to change oxygen sensor. On the cluster panel, the engine light shows up and I ran the scanner and the code picked up P0430, which is the downstream bank two sensor is bad. So I'm going to replace it. That I'm going to share with you how we can replace our oxygen sensor on Lincoln Navigator. So without wasting in time, let's get started. We're going to check the codes and uh, we don't need to start the engine. We're just going to press it uh, once. So that way it powers up. So we're going to hook up the, our OBD2 scanner, which is the port is right here. And as we press it and it will start launching, press diagnostic. There's seven ready. One is not completed and two is not supported that we don't have to worry. So we're going to read the codes. The code is B0430, Catholic System Efficiency Blow Threshold Bank 2. I'm right under the Lincoln Navigator. I have a posted video, the locations of oxygen sensor on bank one and bank two locations. And uh, right now we are concentrating on bank two, which is a downstream, which is a secondary oxygen sensor. And uh, to open the oxygen sensor, you need a special tool, which uh, is uh, oxygen sensor sockets. You can rent those out from auto sports store, or you can buy your own. If you don't, want to use that, then the seven eight wrench, that works. So what you need to do, you put it the seven eight wrench, make sure you have your glasses on. This is where you're going to place the seven eight. So once we place the seven eight like this, then we're going to break it open. As you see, as you can see, it start to move out. Now we can open it with the hand. And if we look at the wiring, that wiring, the gray wiring going behind. So you need to unplug it from there. Since they are sitting there for a long period of time, it will require a force. Do you need to really break it open? So first you break it open, then you can open with your hand and you've seen it, it's so easy. So as you see, this is uh, the oxygen sensor. This is the bad one downstream and uh, I just opened it and this is how it's right now and I'm just going to remove the wiring from other side. So this is the oxygen sensor. This is one I wanted to show it to you on a lot of carbon deposit. So I'm going to replace with the new one. This is the socket. This is the way it goes inside. And this is the tab right here. You need to press it like this. You press it, what do you do? You put your finger here, you press it like this. You press, then you pull, then it slides out. So this is the lock. If you notice here, when I'm moving, see, this one goes up, so that unlocks it. So that's how you take out the oxygen sensor. This is throttle body air intake cleaner. As a DIY person, I just don't want to take a chance that my scanner says that oxygen sensor is bad, I'm going to replace it. What I wanted to do, I wanted to swap it with bank one versus bank two. And if it fails on bank two at this moment, then it's going to fail on bank one. Supposingly, if the bank one passes and bank two still fail, that means my oxygen sensor is good and there is some other issue which can be cat related. So that means my cat is bad. I'm going to clean the oxygen sensor since there is so much carbon deposit as you can see. I'll try this one. So we're going to run the scanner and we know the code and we'll know for sure if the oxygen sensor is bad. If it's indeed bad, then we're going to replace it for sure with the new oxygen sensor. What I've done it, so I took out the oxygen sensor from bank one downstream I put it into bank two downstream on the sensor side. I did not see any change. So what it tells me that my sensor is good, but my catalytic converter is bad. So I did not change it. So I'm going to put it back 
and now I'm going to work on my catalytic converter. So I'm going to change my catalytic converter and I'm going to fix that and I'm going to post a video for that how to fix your catalytic converter on 2015 Lincoln Navigator. So if this video helped you out, like always, like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.